are so messy. Hey guys, what's up? It's Gianna and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's the final video in my hashtag school yawn series. I know it's sad, but that's okay because we're gonna end with a very epic video. I'm so excited for today's video. Today is going to be a drum roll, please. What's in my 2017 through 18 backpack? So yeah, get excited for this video. But the reason that this is my last video in my hashtag school Diana back to school series is that I wanna continue my fun summer videos for you guys so that you can enjoy summer while it lasts because I know we do not wanna go back to school because that's just the worst time of the year. So I wanna keep you guys excited for the rest of your guys' summer. And if you guys are not already, you should totally subscribe to my channel because number one, it's free. You don't have to pay anything. Number two, you can join our family. Click the I button up here, I'm pretty sure, to vote if you guys want our family name to be called the McLeaners or the Mac and Cheese Fam. I wanna know you guys' opinion because I wanna make that final by the end of this video. And I want you guys to pause right now and give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoy it because you should, you should enjoy it because maybe you can add some stuff to your backpack if you don't have that already in it. And for this intro, it gets to be like a year long. Let's go ahead and get right on to the video. So we're gonna start out with the backpack itself. This is my backpack for this year. I'm sure you guys have seen it in two weeks ago's video, I'm pretty sure. Yes, in my school supplies haul video. So this is the backpack. It's a Vera Bradley backpack. I'm not really sure what the print is called. I put it on the screen in my last video. I'll put it right here again. But this is what it looks like. It's got four pockets, one for a computer, one for all your books, and two extra pockets for your little knickknacks and little things that you like to carry around. So let's get into the first pocket. So in the first pocket here, we have my lunch bag you could store whatever you want in here i'm going to choose for this year to put in a lunch bag maybe a jacket if it gets cold but this is just a little aviva bag everyone at my school uses these well not everyone obviously because not everyone shops it there but this we got i don't remember i think we got it from one of our friends for my sister's birthday so I think it's really nice if you don't want to haul a computer around because my dad uses his computer slash our computer for work, so I'm not really allowed to use that at school. But if you don't have a computer, just store other things in it. So now let's move on to pocket number two. So inside pocket number two, we have all of our books. So I'm gonna go through everything one by one. So the first thing that we have in here are these there's two pockets in the front so in here we have some color pencils these are just the 12 color pencils if you want to see me go more in depth of my school supplies then you can go check out my video you can click the eye right here to go and check that out because if you guys want to know where i got everything or just want me to go more in detail then you can go watch my school supplies haul so yeah the first thing we've got here are our color pencils now i'm going to put everything back as we go so that i just don't have to clean it up later but the next thing we've got in here are these fruit scented glitter gel pens now these weren't in my last video so here's like a quick little look at them they've got strawberry orange lemon apple blueberry and grape scented markers or gel pens and I used these last year and they're really cool. So you can just open them up and set them on your desk and they're very useful maybe for a planner. If you want to color code things, um, I bought these at my school actually, but I know you can find them other places. Next we've got a calculator for those math equations. I know I hate them too, but this is a necessity for back to school. And now we have a protractor because those math problems, they just get harder in middle school and harder in high school and even harder in college. So you're gonna need a protractor because, yeah. Mine is just a pink, clear, see-through, whatever you wanna call it. I think it's really cute, so yeah. And the final thing in this pocket, and probably one of my favorites are 
these color-coded index index cards these are neon they're super cute there is a pink one a green one an orange one and a yellow one you gotta keep things fun when you're in school because you get really bored so gotta stay pumped keep your energy level so high just i recommend these better than plain old white ones number one yours are gonna stick out number two you're not gonna get bored and yeah they just keep you focused Oops, there's one more thing in here that I forgot. There are these post-it notes. These are brightly colored blue ones. I picked this color. Again, just a pop of color to keep you very cute school supplies. That made no sense, but we're gonna go with it. And also just to keep you maybe non-distracted. So these are a must-have for back to school. So sorry I'm not like holding up the backpack and showing you guys. I guess I could set it right here. So there, now you guys have a little bit of a better look as to where everything is. Now we're gonna move on to the folders. So these are my three folders for this year. I'm pretty sure that I showed you guys them in my back to school haul, but that doesn't matter. You guys get to see them again. So the first one I have here is this mint green colored one with a lacy print, and I think this one is super cute. Next we have this kind of, reminds me of a tie-dye flossy, really pretty colorful folder. And this one is for my homework, obviously. And finally, you guys have seen this one multiple times. This is my DIY little hello folder with your doily. Um, I really like this one because it's a very neon color. It might not show up as good on camera, but trust me, it's very bright. So these are the four notebooks I chose for this year. I'm going to have to switch them out because, you know, school, you know, there's different quarters. You're going to fill all of these up very fast. So for my math spiral this year, I have this blue, again, kind of splatter painted effect. And it has the dark blue with the blue, um, with the light blue trim and the light blue splatter paint. So I'm really in love with this one. Next we have, again, your little tie-dye, flossy, pink, purple, orange, pretty one. This is actually, I used this one last year, and it was really nice, so I bought it again. I also got this one. This one is for social studies. I'm pretty sure that one was for, that was for language arts. So I used this one last year for science. So I got it again, and this time it's for social studies. It's a little like dream catcher, really colorful rainbow effect, and I really like this one. And last but not least, my favorite one of them all, it's this pink, dark blue mint and kind of a cream color with a little very, very bright, shimmery, shiny gold background that kind of seeps through the clear tabs, I guess. And this one is for science because I think science might be my favorite subject. Well, this year we take biology, pretty sure. Yeah, last year we took life science and that was really fun. So if you're going into seventh grade, maybe they don't have it in all states, but in California they have life science. Comment down below what your school has. For ours it's, wait, set this down. It's getting serious. Anyways, for our school, it's sixth grade earth science, seventh grade life science, and eighth grade biology. I want to know. Just comment down below in the comments if you just have regular science, because I know that's what we had back in Texas. But I don't know. It, I, I don't know. Now let me put these back in here really fast. Okay, so if you guys couldn't see already, we have a book next because you gotta keep smart you gotta keep reading i've already started this one and i read it every so often i haven't read this in like a month though because i've been caught up with all this youtube cheerleading just i've been so busy so i haven't gotten to reading but yes i have read this summer it's good to read this summer so that you can keep up don't forget everything so yeah this book is called also known as harper um it's about a girl who moves and i guess she gets bullied so i definitely recommend this even though i've only read like 15 pages i still think it's a very good book so far and now we have 
our first pencil case this one like kind of has a faded word Gion on it sorry this chair is like super annoying but we have this orange pencil case this is from fifth grade i can't believe it's lasted that long but i've had this since fifth grade so when you open it up we've got your tape dispenser and the reason like there's nothing in here is because i'm gonna make one of those like diy scrapbooking super cute ones so i'm still working on that Next we have our first whiteout. This is just the regular, like, well, I almost dropped it. The regular just paint one by the brand Bic, B-I-C, I don't know how to say it. And then I also have this, like, pen one that I actually, like, found this morning. Um, it's by Presto Jumbo Correction Pen, and then it looks like that. That is very, very jumbo. Yep, but this one is kind of like for if you're writing with a skinnier pen or you don't make as big of a mistake, you can just write on it and it wipes it out. Now we have our sharpener. I always carry one of these around even though 99% uh, of the time I use mechanical pencils. People always ask me if they can use my sharpener, so it's good to have one on hand. Now this is a compass. You don't use these in elementary school. We didn't use these at all last year, but it was on our school supplies list. I have no clue why. And one of the last things we have in here is a glue stick. Just a plain old glue stick. I, I love using glue sticks. And finally, in this pencil case, we have a pair of scissors. Let's be careful here. These ones are like clear and blue, and they're from Walmart. And I use these in 6th and 7th grade, I'm pretty sure. So, I use them again because they last very long. So I'm going to put everything back in this pencil case and move on to the next thing. Okay, so next up we have our Zip It pencil case. This I used last year as well. As you can see, it's got dried slime on it because slime was a thing last year. Um, when you unzip it, it has basically everything you need for school. It's got erasers to mechanical pencils to Sharpies to highlighters, to sticky notes, to lead, to pens. I could go on for hours, but this is basically the majority of what's in here. I'm not gonna go into much detail, but yeah, this is just my main pencil case. And I like these because they're really flexible and they're made of like this cloth material, not cloth, what? They're made of a really nice material so you can fit a lot. All right, so that's it with this pocket. I know this video is probably already like 10 minutes long, but we're going to move on to the next pocket. So, in this pocket, we have more stuff. So, we're going to start right here. This is a little kit right here. So, in here we got some lip balm. This is a strawberry lip smacker. I love this one. It smells super nice. We also have some breath mint strips. You basically just take one. And you put it on your tongue. Now it's stuck on the roof of my mouth. And it dissolves and your breath smells it really nice. So I definitely recommend carrying around these. Or you could carry around gum, mints, whatever you like. Now we have two pairs of earbuds. Oh. And this random hair tie that just fell out. But we've got one here. This is more of a complicated one. So I definitely like this one more because it has my name on it. It has where I live on it. Um, not exactly, but like kind of where I live. Anyway, so this is a more like dull pair that I've had for a few years. Um, but if this one like ever breaks, then I've always got this one. Or if someone needs to borrow them. Yes, I clean my earbuds every time I use them. Like, who else does that? Oh, another random hair time. And then last but not least, we've got a fidget spinner. Slime, fidget spinners, whatever. You gotta keep at least something in your backpack. Just try not to get it taken away because that did happen to me a lot last year. Alright, now I'm going to put everything back in here. I definitely recommend having a little, like, survival kit like this one. I've, I've got a few in my backpack with different things in them. Um, let's put that back in here. This one, I've, I've had this, like, thing forever since I was probably, like, four or five. But that just slides right in there. And then in this next one, we've got another one. This is a first aid kit, so it's a bit different, but it's still kind of like the same thing. So it's got sunscreen, band-aids, gauze, um, wax for your braces, 
sanitizing wipes. I'm not going to really go into detail on this one because it's mainly just um, a first aid kit. Now I've got a small brush in here. Just brush your hair out in class. Um, I did this a lot last year. I actually did not get it taken away, so that was really nice. But I always keep a brush in my backpack. Next we have another pencil and pen. Just if you leave your pencil case in a teacher's room, you've always got your backpack. And the last thing in this um, pocket is another little case. This is from Old Navy and it has nothing in it, but it's for money. I used this last year and I definitely recommend you having a case for it because you get change back. You've got like cash in here. And the final thing in here is this like little kit. I don't really need to like open it because you guys probably already know what's already in here. There's like perfume, Febreze, hand sanitizer, just stuff like that. And it's in this like OMG bag. So this is like an emergency kit for girls. If you want me to do a separate video on that, you can comment down below. But yeah. So that is all I have for you guys in this video. I'm hoping that it wasn't too long, but it's probably over 10 minutes, which is what I was shooting for. So I hope I showed you guys everything, maybe got you guys an idea of what you need to put in your backpack for school. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel down below, and we're trying to reach our goal of 300 subscribers. Also, vote in the I vote click on the eye and there's a little poll there you can vote mccleaners or um mac and cheese fam because i want to know i'll announce it in my next video which will probably be on sunday i'm not sure what i'm going to upload i don't think i'm going to upload a texas vlog because i just i feel like i want to delete those clips and yeah uh i tend to talk for hours people say so i'm gonna stop and i'll see you guys in my next video